Hi guys, welcome to another training video. Today we're going to be talking about over 2.5 goals. If you don't know, I'm Martin. I'm a Betfair trading tutor and I'm here to make you better at Betfair trading. Okay, so what we're going to look at here is the football page of Betfair Trading Community. If you're not already using the stats software on Betfair Trading Community, then go on, try it out, give it a go. I'm sure you'll like it. I'm going to show you how to start to think about trading. You know, if you want to look at over 2.5 goals, because I get a lot of messages, people say to me, oh Martin, I want to do over 2.5 goals. Where do I start? How do I start to create a strategy? How do I start to get selections for that day? So I'm going to show you how a good way to do this and I'm going to do a few of these videos. I'm going to do over 2.5 today and I'll try and do all the other key markets as we go. Okay, so what we're going to look at here obviously is the stats software. If you go over to the right hand side, this is how you create basically your filter. We call it filter. You might call it a strategy or a system, whatever. But this is where you put your criteria you want in. So the first thing I think it's really obvious is if you're going for over 2.5 goals, you're probably going to want an over 2.5 goal stat in there. So if we go select stat subject and then we just select overall and we're going to go for percentage here and then we're going to go for over full time over 2.5 goals. OK, so scroll down to you find that and it's here. So we're going to select that. Now, here's where you need to think. What percentage of games do you want to have had over 2.5 goals? Okay. Here, for this here, I'm going to go greater than or equal to 55%. Okay. So that means that the results will show me games where they've had 55% over 2.5 goals. Matches home team for the home team and the away matches for the away team. If we click add, that adds that to the software. So that's a very basic filter straight off the bat. You could actually just use that straight off the bat. So let's call it over 2.5 goals here and save it. Okay, so that's a very basic filter that we fit up, fit in here. But I've actually created one already that actually basically tries to find you some value. So as you can see here, we've got the first stat. It's the exact same thing, except we've got over under, we've got over 65% for our how often we want over 2.5 goals to have hit. Okay. Why is that? Well, that's due to this second section. So if I select that, and if you select Betfair, then odds, then over 2.5 goals, you will actually be able to choose which odds they have. And here we're going for 1.60. Although I might put 1.599. Just so we don't miss the 1.60 ones, because I do quite want those. So we'll update that. And as you can see, we're only going to get matches where the odds are above 1.6, which is or greater than or equal to 1.6, which is exactly what we want. OK. And then for the final stat, and, and look at this, there's only three criteria here. We're not we're not going crazy. It's not super complex, not super deep strategy. And then we're going for overall matches played greater than or equal to eight. OK, so you'd select overall total matches played from the box greater than or equal to eight. And we'll keep that as is. OK, the reason for that is I want there to have been a certain amount of matches played that season before I look into the stats. And in this case, the teams would have had to have played eight matches, which means that four they'd have played four home, four away. Of course, this will only take into account the home matches for the home team and the away matches for the away team. Um, and then all you have to do really is select the other bits you want. I've used scope of last 10 matches. I've left all the league restriction, date restriction, match criteria. I've left that at default. And then I've clicked restrict to current season. And the only other box I've clicked is exclude playoffs. I don't like playoffs because they're not like regular league games. The other thing I like to look at is end of season. If a match is really close to the end of the season, I'm probably not going to trade it. If there's only two or three matches left in that season, that's one I'm probably going to avoid. Anyway, when you save that strategy, you will have your strategy. Okay. Now it's Monday. I'm recording this. There aren't any selections. It's a summit. So, you know, it's not much football on a Monday with the Euros coming up. Um, but what's key here is I want to show you why this strategy in particular, because you might be thinking, well, let's go back to the rules. Why? Why have you gone for 1.60 and 65% chance of over 2.5 goals? Well, the reason is that the price of 1.60 would be value 
if you were striking 65% of the time. So if you were winning 65% of the time, then 1.60 is value. Don't believe me? Check this. So here I've gone over to aceodds.com. There's a few of these odds converters out there. It doesn't matter which one you use. The two stats you're really gonna want are this decimal column and the implied probability column. And I use this a lot. And in these vid training videos, I'm gonna use this a lot because what you wanna do is you wanna have a look at, well, what are the odds, okay? So we're in a situation where we know that if a match is having 65% over 2.5 goals, then the odds, let's have a look here, should be 1.53. Look, 65% probability, 1.53. Now we're getting odds in our strategy of 1.60 plus. So that means we are getting matches where we are actually getting quite a few percentage points in our favor, okay? So let's say we even get, we get odds of 1.62. Well, already 61.9% chance. So the market center is only a 61.9% chance. We know it should be at least 65% based on the stats. So therefore, there's a 3% edge there. Now, as with anything, this isn't even a strategy video or anything like that. What you would then do is once you've got your strategy like we've got here, you would then go and test it. Okay, and as I always say, this is to get your creative juices flowing. This is to train you to create strategies. Okay, this hasn't been a tested strategy. This isn't something I'd suggest you go and bet on right now. Um, I know, I know, I always say this right, and I say it often quite a few times, but sometimes people really don't get that because we still get comments. Admittedly, some are probably just from rival companies. Uh, well, no, a lot of them are just trying to slag us off. But the reality is that. I've been saying this the whole time. So if you ever see a comment that says, oh, yeah, but this is... I never said that this is going to be a winning strategy. What I'm saying is that this is how you start to create the foundation for a strategy. And you've got three simple criteria here that make sense. And you're trying to find an edge on the market. Now, what you might do is... Let's go back to the percentage. What you might do is you might go and test. And you might find that, actually, I only make profit if the odds are above 1.73. And that means that there's... a a implied chance of 58% and I'm getting an even bigger edge. And because of that, I only make money at that odds range. What you then do is you get a spreadsheet, you test the results. Um, and ex I'll show you a brief example of one. here. So here's my lay away strategy. And this has had 3000 selections. It's up a thousand pounds, 10 pounds stakes, so hundred points profit. But we know the results, we know what's happened. And I'm actually able to look at this sheet and go, okay, what odds ranges work best? what leagues work best, and then work the strategy around that to actually tweak and improve the strategy and then get the strategy that works well, okay? And that's the key, guys. It's all about the testing and then tweaking and then seeing whether those tweaks work. And importantly, never get rid of your original strategy. So, you know, this three-pronged strategy here, you should actually always keep because you wanna keep recording those results. Even if you tweak it, add a couple of other things, Save that as a new strategy. You can do that. Just scroll down and go to save new. Give it a different name in here and save new and it will save a new strategy for you. The reason for that is you can then compare the two against each other and see whether your tweaks work. Because you might have just over tweaked it and, it's, and you backfitted it and actually you find that it doesn't work. So that's a really important thing to do. Again, I know I mention this a lot, but I get a lot of numpties, <laughs> for want of a better word, in the comments. And like I say, probably just from rivals. Well, we know they are. Often YouTube accounts started that day, strangely, um, promoting, literally promoting a different site. They're always the best ones. When someone promotes a different site in the comments, you know it's either been paid for or they're a bot. It's almost like undeniable, or they're the person that's directly involved in that company, and those people know who they are. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the basic foundations of over 2.5 goals. That's how to start creating a foundation for a strategy, and that is your training today on over 2.5 goals. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I hope it's helped you. Obviously, I hope it helps you if you're fair training. That's what we're all here for in the end. Okay, guys, if you like the video, please comment, please like, please subscribe. That really helps us out. And, you know, let's do all those nice things. Let's be nice. Let's have a positive atmosphere, um, you know, in the comments. Let's be nice to each other and uh, let's have a good time. I hope you make some money trading on Betfair this week.